Hello, friends. As we start talking and practicing servant leadership, it's important to understand together we can serve better. And joining us in the first edition of this series would be our international president, Brian Sheehan. So thank you, President Brian, for joining us briefly today. Uh, can you tell us what is the message that you essentially want to send out to the world of lions, maybe the world in general, and what inspired you to choose this theme, Together We Can? Well, you know, it's very important for all of us to be working together in order to get things done. You know, we, when you try to do things on your own, it may be good for you, but when you can get so many more people involved, you get so many more ideas, you get so many more hands working together, you can take something that would happen very small and you can make it very large. You know, Together We Can AP has always been something I've really lived by my entire life. And it starts with your family. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of a, I'm the youngest of eight and uh, we had a very large family, but my, my parents always taught us that we need to all work together in, in what we do. It's not individual accomplishments, but it's by working together. And then that instilled me to do that in my business as well, that I, I can't do things by yourself. When you get other people to help and you have to count on other people, you can grow things so much bigger. So in an organization like ours, Lions Clubs International, what are those important leadership traits which the leaders must possess so that we can really work together? You know, there's a lot of traits you have to have in being a leader. You know, the first thing is you have to be able to earn people's trust. And you do that by being very honest, being very transparent in the things that you do. And I think the biggest thing is because I also own a business too. And there's really a big difference in being a manager versus being a leader. And being a manager, I will listen to everybody and I will get all of their ideas and input. But when it comes right down to it, I'll make the decision on what I feel is best for me and my business. But when you're a leader, you listen to everybody else, you take that input, but as a group and as a team, you decide on what will work best and what you're trying to accomplish. And, and I think that's very important for our organization that we have to be able to lead by example. We have to be able to, to have a little bit of fun when we lead as well. But uh, the main thing is you have to be able to have a vision on what you're going to accomplish and you got to be able to have a plan in order to accomplish the things that your vision sees and then you've got to be able to execute that plan. What we are seeing is that you are able to get the teams to come together and uh, your decisions never appear to be just your personal decisions, they appear to be your team's decision. So does it come to you naturally or have you imbibed certain leadership traits or maybe learned some leadership traits over the last many years that help you do this? You know, I don't think it came to me naturally. A lot of it is by trial and error. And again, I did that with uh, my education, with the things that I do locally in our community, but mostly I learned from uh, in my business where people were sometimes afraid to come to me because I was very busy and they didn't want to bother me and all that. and. I saw that that's got to be different than that. You have to be approachable. You have to be able to extend yourself out in order to have people give you the input and give you ideas in order to be able to do so. I, I really think I learned a lot of those skills because again, there's different leadership skills and different leadership types. And if you don't have people following you and trying to accomplish the things that you want to do, you're not a leader. I think the biggest thing that I have learned is leadership instills new leadership and leaders create leaders and I've learned how much of a difference that is because of this Lions organization. This Lions organization has given us so many benefits and you just have to look and see what those benefits are but the biggest thing is it's given me organizational skills, it has told me how to lead, it has opened me up to so much new family and you see what the results are by having that family all working together. We see you mingling with the lions, mixing with the lions, uh, you know, younger lions, senior lions, individuals who joined the movement only recently, individuals who've been there for many, many years, and you uh, make yourself so much at home with all of them. I mean, how do you, how does that chemistry work? You know, I, I gotta tell you, I think one of the things I'm most proud about is I went to my 
midwinter convention, my district convention this last summer, and they made a badge up for me that said, just Brian. And that's exactly what I am. I'm no different than anybody else. And we all want to be able to do the same things and help humanitarian efforts. And we're all in this together. There's no level or anything else. A lion is a lion and a Leo is a Leo. And that just means so much. And I, I, I have to tell you, I've had so many people going through this journey that told me if I ever change, they're gonna sit here and they're 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 gonna they're gonna hit me and uh, because it's so important to keep your morals and keep your values and keep your feet on the ground and just be who you are and be a lion. So it, it, I'm I'm worried that if I change, people will <laughs> will hit me. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for your time and this these wonderful comments. Uh, I mean, coming from an international president that. You are proud of wearing that badge. Just Brian sends out a very strong message to the world of lions.